Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a randomizer circuit which will um, start signals at random on a certain output. So how this will work is it'll have nine different outputs and each output will randomly, well, output. So let's start building. Uh, this is something I've uh, tried to do before, I just as a test. Now we're going to use the color blue for our circuit. So I'm going to, instead of having the lever to turn this on, I'm going to have an OR gate for um, certain reasons. And those reasons are so we can have a one lever um, turn on the whole thing. So how you do this is you have like um, a bunch of repeaters and you get the time off to be one thing here and you make like a bunch of them and they all have slightly different time offs so it kind of creates a random thing this isn't true randomness um, but it's good enough for this. So let me just get the outputs ready. I think I should have some delays. So then, like these are, this randomizer is going to be for bullets, so I don't want everything coming at the player at the same time. Get two, four. So we need to have this gate power both of these, and we'll get uh, these two other ones powered directly by the OR gate. So that's not the entire randomizer. Uh, let's just put down a quick lever to test it. So what we need to have uh, next is some OR gates that will combine these signals. Uh, so uh, then it creates the illusion of there being a single combined signal. Okay, so let's get that. So now we're down to two OR gates. And we only need one more. I guess I'll space it out over there. So now if you just look at the output of this, it appears to be uh, pretty random. Now I think we should have the time offs be greater because it seems a little too frequent. I think that is a little too slow. Let me go down some. Now, uh, you might be able to realize that uh, this isn't creating a random like position for a bullet to go. Um, and yeah, that's true. We need to create a separate mechanism that will uh, do that. So, um, we need to space this out a little. I just want some extra space, which I normally wouldn't do. And we need an extra repeater. And let's go like this. Oh wait, I'm, this should in total add up to nine because this thing's only nine tall. So I'm gonna have the lever activate this. Just hold on. 
think I'm gonna put it over here just for more space. So now I wanna get one second delay and we need eight of them. And we're gonna chain them together like this. Okay, so those are two separate mechanisms. We should see this send like a a pulse. Wait a minute. Didn't wire that properly. Oops. So it should constantly have a pulse in it. Okay, never mind. It seems I wired it wrong again because I'm silly. wait for that and should be able to go all the way around good so now what we need to do is to get nine and gates down um, just for to be easy and we clone it Now each of these parts of the delays and the repeater responds to an AND gate, so you need to connect them all. So you should see that one of the AND gates will randomly activate. So I need one twice. You know what? It kind of does take a while. I'll keep it for now, and then when I start doing the actual gameplay, I might iron out that stuff that I might not want. So yeah, this is a randomizer. There's nine different outputs here with the AND gates, and each of these correspond to a row one here. So how this will work is like, uh, once one of these triggers, like this one, it'll go to its corresponding row. And then it'll start a bullet which keeps going down like that. So yeah, that's pretty much the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Especially since I was talking a lot in this one. You know what, I'll just end it now. Uh, goodbye.